Greetings, love beings, blessings in the light and love of the prime creative force, source, supreme, most high, Mama God, and her original wonder twin. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. This is Pamela Sunshine Love, White Dove, coming to you. I love you. Today is May 1st, 2022. Mayo Uno. I love you. We could talk about the U.S. borders. We could talk about corruption in the mainstream media. We could talk about corruption in the White House. We could talk about crazy inflation caused by pandemics and crises. We could talk about the messed up supply chain. It all goes back to the White House. We could talk about black lives and Antifa destroying this country. We could talk about tearing down statues. And we could talk about Project Paperclip. We could talk about Mockingbird, Project Mockingbird. We could talk about Project Cloverleaf, chemtrails. We could talk about MKUltra. We could talk about Georgia Guidestones. We could talk about um, all kinds of things. The First Amendment, the Second Amendment. We could talk about um, the voting, how the voting is corrupt and they skew their polls and voting in the polls are really worthless now in this day and age. We could talk about um, the Democratic Party. We could talk about the Republican Party and how they're, the corruption runs deep in both parties. They are both two wings on the same bird. We could talk about, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, shoving gender is, you know, sh shit down our children's throats and minds and hearts at ages four, five, and six and pushing their Petawood Hollywood narrative. We could talk about all of this. We could talk about the 13 bloodlines. We can talk about the Federal Reserve. We could talk about Soros. We could talk about career politicians as well. And how, well, anyway, Soros funded a bunch of things. Um, he definitely is one. He's actually murdered probably more people, black people, than we all know. Um, so anyways, we could talk about all that, but instead, we shall receive this message. These messages, please forgive me, I wrote them down, there's no time to edit. Um, here we go. This is a quote from Albert Einstein. Oops, sorry, y'all. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. True, true, true. This one's by Bob Anderson. Good people make mistakes and hurt others. Then they learn from their mistakes and he utilizes the word try not to make them again. From where I come, try is not in our vocabulary. Nor is should have, would have, could have, and there is still a world of ifs. I don't know why. Next one, Amy Hughes, side note. My fifth grade teacher was named Mrs. Hughes. The most important part of you will always be what's in, the most important part of you will always be what's inside of you. You will make mistakes, everyone does, and that's why pencils have erasers. Good one, good one. And this last one, I feel, is by Albert Hubbard. The greatest mistake anyone can ever make is to be afraid of making one. All right, and then it says, get a five subject notebook with a durable cover. Write down your thoughts, your ideas, your dreams, your visions, your futuristic ideas, no matter how futuristic it might seem, and write down future concepts, um, healing modalities. Write these things down and it draws them more quickly to you as manifestation Manifesting things, it's becoming instant. So be careful, little tongue, what you say. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. Be careful, little feet, where you go. For the mother up above is looking down with love. So be careful, little feet.
feet and tongue and eyes and ears, tongue what you say. So now is the time to purge all that is within and without that no longer serves the highest good of all concerned. The goal is to make all your decisions based on the highest good of all creatures, great and small. All right. It's okay to not know exactly where you're going as long as you make steps in a forward motion to improve yourself, your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, your spiritual body. By doing so, your hearts will be in alignment. Please know that it is a mark of a profound person that can see ahead. I encourage everyone to start their seeds for their gardens and prepare the soil. Uh, afterwards, can everything that you can, all your food, can all that you can, can. We'll do the can, can. And dehydrate. Get a food dehydrator. Dehydrate food. You can make beef jerky. You can make dehydrated banana chips, um, strawberry chips. Get a generator. Get extra fuel if possible. Gather supplies as if, as if you were going camping. Such, you know, these are some of the things. Tarps, grills, charcoal, matches, candles, water jugs, extra um, medications, Build a root cellar to store things that need to be cold. So think in terms of camping supplies. What would you get if you were going camping? There could be a blackout anywhere from three days to 10 days to quite a bit longer. We are in uncharted territory. We do not know, excuse me, we do know Cancel, clear, not. We do know the system is being restored now. However that looks, everybody. Get out of the big cities while you still can. If you have an abundance of wealth, what will you be known for? Hoarding your wealth or helping the movement and the mission of one love, one family? There are many warriors that have given up all material comforts and either they were guided to do so and or good people get gang stalked because they are good. So they've had to live in vans and different things. Um, please know that the givers are gathering and the takers are taking themselves out. There's no more fence sitting, in other words, y'all. Our divine mother of all creation is our divine orchestrator, our divine director, our divine producer of everything that we see and don't see. She is the host with the most. Respect our mother. The only thing we have to fear is nothing, not even fear itself. And that's a new quote I revised from an old quote. And you know who you are. God is giver of dreams. God knows everything. All is in divine order. Prepare thy vessels. Prepare thy temples. Spring clean everything. We are going up, 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 no matter what, what, what. Vibrational frequencies. This is a song from Hawaii Mom gave me. We win again and again and again. Oh, yes, we do. There are two suns. Yes, there are. Flower power works. Oh, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mama. Okay, so we're going up high, high, high in a vibrational frequency. High, high, high like a birdie in the sky. I'm so high, high, high. Put your arms around me, baby. 
Prime Source Creator is in charge of the light and the dark. There is a divine plan unfolding like a thousand petaled lotus flower. We mustn't pull or tug on the sprouts or push the river. Let them grow naturally and let it flow naturally. Allow others to have their own experiences. Forgive yourself, forgive others. This is what is required of us now. I command my atoms into right alignment now. I command my atoms into right action now. I command my pure essence return to me now. Thank you, Divine Mother of all creation. Always stay humble and kind and calm. Everything is gonna be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, it is too. Because everything is already all right. Not go medicine for the people. No matter what it looks like in the world, remain in your heart with love. Stay in the present moment of now. Past is history. The future is a little bit of a mystery. And the here and now is all there is. And it's a gift. That's why it's called the present. And that's how you get through this, y'all. <clears throat> Discard limiting beliefs. The only thing that limits you is your beliefs. Sky is not the limit. It's your beliefs that limit you. We are going galactic, never to go bactic. So please don't get, get spastic. And there are no seat belts for this ride. Please keep your hands and feet in motion in service to divine love. And hats off to mom, queen of everything. Q equals queen equals highest intelligence operation ever known anywhere. And everyone, everywhere, all eyes are on planet Earth equal heart. We are entering the Aquarian age, however that looks, everybody. I know what it looks like out in the world. That's why I'm sharing this message with you that was given to me. And that Romans 8, 28, God works everything for good for those who are called in according to her purpose. And that Joseph, you know, see this coat? I got made fun of for this coat, you know. It's okay. Um, it was given to me by a very dear friend artist too. She's crafty in different ways, you know. Um, the Joseph, the coat of many colors, okay. There is a story. Go look it up. Do your research and see what happened to Joseph and how it turned out to be so beautiful and that he became second in um, command uh, in Egypt. So go look it up. Oh yes, love multiplies, not divides. Love multiplies, it's, it's funny because I, I'm around some animals and one dog gets jealous of the other dog. I have two hands. I can pet both, you know, animals at the same time. So love multiplies. It doesn't divide. Oh, yeah, and this one. Okay, so this was given to me, I don't know, moments ago, long, long moments, that we came from the future through the past to get to the here and now because we signed up for this contract and not everybody was allowed to even enter the earth plane. Only those that we felt or they felt would wake up from the, am the willing amnesia that we took on because it's part of the game of 3D physicality. And only the best of the best in your all royal angels, at least descending from the seventh realm. Some of us have come out from farther and because the creator's house has many mansions, many dimensions, many realms. And the more I know, the less I know. And um, a one more quick thing I feel on my notes is that I have to call out Goldie Sharma. Please stop calling. I was in the middle of doing something and you called a bunch of times in a row. I've already explained to you, please don't take it personally. 
Um, I'm not accepting phone calls at this time. In the future, we can, we'll be face to face. Um, if I know you personally, please feel free to call. If I don't know you personally in these moments, just in these moments, we're in moments, some pretty uh, heavy duty moments. And so I was working on something and you kept calling after I'd already asked you not to. And I had to start all over again. For me, that's huge. For one, I am perfect remembrance now. However, please respect my space and my boundaries. And this goes for anyone out there. Do not call me. I'll call you. <laughs> and, I, you know, you Goldie Sharma, you wanted to bring me in on a phone conversation with you and beautiful Wendy, right? Yes, I can help you with the highest counsel in all kinds of things. And in moments, it's not the moment right now. I love you. You can communicate with me via text. Text me any of your issues via a text right now in Messenger. I never even wanted to sign up for Messenger. And all the, those ones that I wish would message me sometimes don't, you know. And so and that I have other people calling from all around the world. I give thanks for that. However, please don't take it personally. I'm not answering any phone calls in these moments. Thank you. I love you. Um, and I forgive you. And I ho'oponopono. What does ho'oponopono mean? I'm saying, I please, I apologize. Please forgive me if I've offended anyone with any of my words. Um, thank you. I love you. I feel like I'm forgetting one. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Yeah. That's Ho'oponopono. And one day, face to face with everyone, because why? God is giver of dreams. Whatever you intend and wish, that's what you're gonna get. Please focus on the things that you wish for, not on the things that you don't. If you're focusing on things that you don't want, you're drawing it right to you. That is the law of attraction. The universe wishes to give you what you wish for. And if you're focusing on negative stuff, that's what you're going to get. It's as simple as that. I don't know how to explain it any more clearer. Oh, yeah, there was one more thing I had. Oh, I just kind of tossed my things uh, about. Oh, I guess I can reheart it. Okay, so when we make decisions based on all creatures great and small. Okay, for example, um, maybe you have a beehive in your yard and maybe you're allergic to bees and you don't want to get stung. Are you going to torch that or are you going to maybe find a beekeeper that might be able to adopt those bees into its own or something like that, you know? Maybe that's not the best example. However... It just sparked a song from sixth grade camp. Kumalada, kumalada, kumala bee sting. Oh, no, 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 not the bee sting. Eeny, meeny, catch a teeny, ooh, ah, ah, balini, aka, raka, yuka, raka, aka, raka, yo, yeah. <laughs> Comment down below if you know the song, the bee sting, because you've all been stung by the love bug. Either evolve and love or be dissolved by love. Love has won and joy reigns. Bring it on, angels. Bring it on, angels. Bring it on, angels. I love you all. Peace and aloha. Bye for now.